Okay. So chapter nine is all about estimation using one sample. So like I said, we have one sample. What does it tell us about the population? We're specifically talking about estimation. So like I'm estimating the proportion of blah, 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 the, the mean of blah, 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 something like that. So we are going to A, define what a point estimate is, and we're going to find a few of them. And then B, we're going to talk about the difference between biased and unbiased, which is something that we've done before. So first of all, why do we take a sample? Yes? Uh, because a population, you can survey from population takes too much time and effort. Right, OK. So taking a, what is it called when you ask everybody in the population? Census. OK, so taking a census is uh, requires a lot of resources, a lot of time, a lot of money. So instead we take a sample. What we hope to do is take a sample that represents the population so that we can then generalize to the population. What's the last reason that you don't take a census besides time and money? One very specific example. Sort of specific. Best example is that it relates to cars. Oh. Destruction? Could be destructive, yeah. So like if you're doing crash tests, you're not going to take a census because that would mean that you crash every single car. But anyway, that's why we take a sample. We want to generalize the population. That's the, the big point. Okay, so a point estimate is a single estimate of a population parameter. Single estimate of a population parameter. So x bar is a point estimate, s is a point estimate, p is a point estimate. Any statistic is a point estimate. Now, do we remember that our point estimate is based on the sample that we take? And then not all the samples are going to be the same? So that if I take three different samples and I calculate x bar for every single sample, it's probably going to change based on the sample. You guys with me? Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's why a lot of times we don't like to rely on point estimates. We rely on what's called an interval estimate. So what an interval estimate does is it gives you an interval. So it says, I think that x, that mu is between 2 and 4. So it gives a range of plausible values. So a point estimate is a single value. Interval estimate is a range of plausible values. This we've talked about bias versus unbiased. A statistic is unbiased if you average all the statistics and you get the parameter. So what are the examples of unbiased that you should know? Um, Which mean. ones? The mean is unbiased. Median, Median is unbiased. Variance. Variance is unbiased. You've named all measures for numeric data. What about categorical data? So if I look at what hair color you all have, what could I calculate with that? Proportion. Proportion. <laughs> OK, so unbiased is proportion, mean, median, variance. So the way that this looks is if I took every single sample, let's say of size 5, and I calculated the sample proportion of people who have brown hair, and I averaged them, I would get the population proportion of people with brown hair. If I take all the samples of size 5 and I calculate the average age, and then I average all of those averages, I'm going to get the population mean. Population mean age, that is. So this is back to sampling distribution. You've got to look at every single sample of the same size. Um, if I average them, I'm going to get the population parameter. That's for unbiased. Biased, that's not the case. So if I calculate all the statistics and average them, I'm not going to get the population parameter. Which were the biased ones that I wanted you to know? Or any biased ones? Standard deviation, Standard deviation is biased. Maximum. Maximum minimum, yeah. So the one, like I said, that I think is hard to remember is variance is unbiased, but standard deviation is biased. You don't need to know why they are, but you just need to be able to tell me which ones are biased and which ones are not. Okay. Do you guys know the difference between precision and accuracy? Okay, do share. All right, so precision is like, if you're measuring, like measuring in millimeters versus centimeters is more precise. 
uh, or millimeters instead of centimeters is like more precise, but accuracy is how close you are to actually getting it right. Yeah. I think the way most people learn precision and accuracy is by a dartboard. So this is precise, all near the same spot. This one's accurate, all near the center. That one's not accurate and it's not precise. So precise is a, like a measure of consistency. It's how close they are together. Accurate is how close you are to the correct answer. Next, uh, a random sample of 10 households in a particular area, each of which is heated with natural gas, is selected and the amount of gas in therms used during the month of January is determined for each house. The resulting observations are as follows. Okay, every year students have difficulty with this type of problem and I don't really know why. So hopefully you guys are going to impress me. So I gave you the 10 observations there. A. Let mu denote the average gas usage during January by all houses in the area. That's the population parameter. We don't know the population, so we didn't go to every house. We instead went to these two. Compute a point estimate of mu. What would be a point estimate of mu? Like, how would I find a single estimate of mu? That's what it means. Brooke? You just take the average of the sample? Yeah. Yeah, to estimate mu, you use x bar. So all it's saying is calculate x bar. x bar is from a sample. We have a sample. Mu is the population. We don't have the population. So of course, show me the work that I would like you to show. Sigma of x over n. So I have 103 plus 156 plus dot, dot, dot. It's 99 all over 10. I didn't actually do this, so you guys need to do this now. In other words, take out a calculator and start adding. Or better yet, you might need that information for B and C, so maybe you put it in a list. Okay. We good? Okay. This is how I want the work shown, and then I want you to write me a sentence. So I estimate the population mean usage. is mu to be 120.6 therms. Here is where I'm going to be picky. You need to make sure that you show me the correct symbol. So mu does not belong here. X bar belongs here. This is a statistic based off of a sample. It's not mu. So you need to use X bar. You need to show me formula, substitution, answer, still with x bar. The population parameter, so the symbol that they're asking you to estimate, only comes up in your interpretation. I don't want to use anywhere else. But it needs to be clear to me that you calculated x bar and that you used that to estimate mu. Okay, B, calculate a point estimate of sigma. What is sigma? Standard deviation. Standard deviation. So population standard deviation. So what do you think we're going to use to estimate that? Sigma over squared. What symbol? S. S, yeah. Sample standard deviation. Okay, so this formula is sigma of x minus x bar squared all over n minus 1. That's s squared, though, so you need the square root of all of that. 
X bar we already calculated as 120.6. So we have 103 minus 120.6 squared plus dot dot dot. All of that over 10 minus 1. Okay, we are estimating sigma. In your calculator, when you do one bar stats, so you can look at S or sigma. S. Always S. Only one case where you use sigma, and that's when S is blank. So you got to remember to use S. So I got the sample standard deviation to be 21.58. Okay, remember, use the correct symbol. So we don't use sigma yet until we write our sentence. So I'm going to say I estimate the population standard deviation. Bless you. Bless you. Thank you. To be 21.58 thirds. Please make sure you provide units if you have to provide units in that same point though. Lastly, estimate pi, the proportion of all houses that use at least 100 therms. So pi is population proportion, and then it says what statistic did you use? If we're estimating pi, what statistic are we going to use? Pi is population proportion. So logically, you're going to use sample proportion. What's the symbol for that? P. Yeah, you're going to use P. Okay, so I'm going to use sample proportion, which is P. Okay, based on our sample, what proportion of houses use at least 100 therms? out of 10.8 yeah make sure you show the 8 out of 10 and then show me that that equals 0.8 and then I ran out of room but you of course would write I estimate the population proportion of all houses that use at least 100 therms parentheses high to be 0.8 Can I erase this? Yes, all good. Okay, so we defined a point estimate. We found a few point estimates. Estimates. You did know the difference between bias and unbiased before. Now we just talked about them. How do we feel about that?